Hello and welcome to a special episode of the Father and Son Pastime Podcast. I'm Patrick. I'm Kevin. How are you? That's my dad. Dad, it's home run derby time. Our, Great day. One of our favorite days of the year. Right. Um, trade right. deadline days up there. Yeah. Maybe opening day and home run derby are yeah. phenomenal baseball days for us. Yeah. Day after Thanksgiving as well. For our specific yes, podcast, yes, you're right. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this won't be a long podcast. Hopefully not. We do pontificate sometimes. Uh, really... We want to go over the participants' that Obviously, our our predictions. That's what the people are hearing before they place their bets live at 8 p.m. Um, but I want to go over some of the new rules. There are some changes this year to the Home Run Derby because it, they haven't got it right since they got rid of the outs component in 2014-2015. And then Chris Berman. Uh, and I miss Chris Berman yes. so much. Um, I miss I miss that fun commentary. Yes. It has not been as fun, uh, fun commentator since. Dad, some of the new rules. Uh, I will give them... Even though I miss the outs, I do like there's not a head-to-head in the first round. Um, in the past, if I hit 40 home runs in the first round and my head-to-head competitor hit 41, I'm out. Yep. Even if I was the second most in round one, I'm out of the whole competition. Uh, so they want to hit. They want to keep the best home run hitters going on to the second the second round, and then they'll be kind of in that elimination in the semifinals and finals. Obviously, I thought the tie situation was interesting. If someone is tied for fourth, both uh, Gunner and Marcelo Zuna hit 19 home runs. Whoever hit the farthest home run in, between those two move on. So there's no swing offs, uh, at least in the first round. I thought that was kind of interesting. And then rounds are kind of by minutes or pitches this year, yeah. whatever comes first. So three minute rounds or 40 pitches for the first r- uh, two rounds, and a shorter finale because contestants are kind of tired at that point a two-minute finale, or 27 pitches. You'll be hearing this all live on ESPN in two hours. But yeah. One of the things Gunner was uh, saying when he announced that he was going to be a participant, he said with 40 pitches and a time limit, he said you don't take pitches anymore. Back in the day, to get a little rest, you took a pitch or two to gear up so you can hit it. Now with 40 pitches, you're swinging at everything. So the BP pitcher is really important more than ever now to throw strikes and all that. So I think that, again, a little added pressure to the hitter. You know, you might get a bad pitch, but you got to see what you can do with it. Great so. thought. Uh, and, again, 40 pitches is 40 pitches. You know, it's not 40 swings. Um, and I think that's an important distinction. Yeah. Dad, before we give our predictions for the people at home, I kind of want to go through each competitor, uh, their current home run totals as it stands right now on July fifteenth, 2024, and their ages as well. I do think – that has some factor. We were talking about, obviously, I'm wearing a Griffey shirt. Could Griffey still do the Derby? He could still do it. He wouldn't win it. it. Endurance matters, and I think age obviously matters to this as well. There's no one older than 33 in this entire competition. Um, as I go through them, Dad, I'm going to kind of kick it to you. Sure. Uh, for kind of giving me your thoughts, maybe their chances. What do you expect sort of out of them? Help the people make their bets as we place uh, live bets uh, as well. Uh, Dad, I'm going to lead off with, we already mentioned Gunner. He, we were in Baltimore. He's a hometown guy. Uh, Gunner Henderson's had 28 home runs. He leads the pack out of all the competitors with most home runs. And he's only 23. He's also the youngest. So most home runs and the youngest. What do you think of Gunner's chances? I think he, he'll make it past the first round. He'll get into it. I think with Gunner, he's in a little bit of a slump right now. And the last week, he uh, I guess a lot of people have been throwing a lot of breaking balls to him and everything else. The uh, Interesting, the BP pitcher used to be the manager at Bowie, very close to where we live, uh, Buck Britton. So he'll be thrown to him, and I think he knows Buck from years ago and everything else. I think Gunner's chances are great. I don't think he makes a final two, but he makes a great showing. Um, he is electric. He hits the ball extremely hard. Um, he's a great player, uh, but I think he'll fall a little short today. Thank you for that analysis. That was really good by my co-host. Uh, now let's stick with youth then. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr., second youngest in the competition, uh, second least homers. Uh, 16 home runs on the season. Uh, he's 24 years old. Another shortstop just like Gunner. What do you think of his chances? Well, we were in D.C. when the uh, Home Run Derby was in D.C. four or five years ago. 2018. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he put on a show. And that's when he was 
thinner and you know probably weighed 20 pounds less than he does now he's a phenomenal athlete uh, again I think he'll do well but I think as the, the rounds progress I think the numbers will go down a little bit um, again I don't think he'll be in the final but he'll put on a great show another great shortstop in the era of the shortstops in Major League Baseball kind of like you know going back to you know when we had four or five great shortstops in the American League I think you're seeing that again in the major leagues. Great shortstops, power, speed. So I think Bobby is second round, but then after that maybe falls out. Well, thank you. Another great analysis. <laughs> and the uh, home run derby that my dad was talking about before the real home run derby, so it's probably going on right now in Texas, there's like a high school home run derby uh, where 17, 18-year-olds are allowed to yeah. use metal bats in a major league stadium. Pretty, they're all going to be dra- – they have just been drafted or they will be drafted. Um and it was electric. Bobby Witt put on a performance for the ages, hitting home runs into the concourse of Nats Park, obviously metal bat. Um, but at that point, I mean, I knew I'd see him in a home run derby yeah. for real um, later in his life. So he has some experience in a derby-like setting. Yeah. Great. I mean, the sound effects was really cool with that ting off of the, the aluminum bats and everything. And you could kind of like, here when they really got a hold of one and how far it went but he i forgot who he was against but it was a really close contest Mm -hmm. so yeah uh pete alonzo dad obviously is (laughs) polar bear he's crazy in a way i love him uh he's you could say he's a little you know bipolar Um, (laughs) pete alonzo having a slightly down year at 19 home runs he's 29 he's not the younger man he was uh, when he won this competition uh, in 2019 and in 2021. Uh, he's going for the three Pete's, if you will, three Pete Alonzo, to join only Griffey for those people that have won it three times. What do you think of Pete's chances, Dad? Pete's going to be in the finals. Okay. I think he's missed it the last two years, if I'm correct. He's been knocked out the last two yeah. years, yeah. I think he's got a little edge about him now, and this might be his last year in New York. You don't know about his contract status and everything else. I think he will be in a final two, uh, but fall a little short. But I think he is destined to be in the finals, and he, I think he's going to be taking it very seriously. He's definitely going to be taking it seriously. You can bet on that if that's a DraftKings option. He is, Speaking of DraftKings, he is the favored uh, contestant to win this derby. Has the most experience. He does, and he's won yeah. twice. Yeah. Uh, Dad, Marcelo Zuna is the oldest competitor here. A lot of home runs, though. 26 yeah. on the year. A lot in his career. Is a power hitter, no doubt about that. Uh, what do you think of Ozuna's chances? You know what? He, he came out of the blue. I think he's really um, helping his team get over some injuries and everything else. 26 home runs at this stage is pretty impressive. Um, I think he'll do well, but I don't expect him in the final four. I think he's going to bow out. But he's like one of those dark horses. If there's a horse race, you know, the, the odds might be getting slimmer and slimmer as we get close to the race. It's impressive how many home runs he's hitting in Atlanta, which is not, you know, the friendly the home run parks and all that i think he'll do well but i don't think he's in the finals fantastic he's killing it guys <laughs> uh dad tiosca hernandez uh 19 home runs in the year he's 31 on the dodgers only dodgers rep uh in this you know mookie betts was last yeah. year not shohei this year what are your thoughts on tiosca's uh chances you know tiosca the, the great point that someone i, I read uh, yesterday was he's taking a lot of pressure off of uh, shohei and you know shohei's having a good year and all that stuff but right now you know they can't pitch around him because tiosca is hitting the ball well um i think somebody regrets that trade that when they traded him last year but again i think he is going to be uh in the mix i don't think he's in the finals but i think he's going to make a great showing and he's one of those other dark horses that are you know go off at you know five to one odds and all that stuff as we get closer i don't think he has enough staying power to go through the finals his 1300 to, to sorry 1300 to 100 odds yeah um so much more than five to one um 13 to one uh i, th- I think tiasker is my dark horse um i'm not saying i'm gonna pick him but i'm saying sprinkle we let we talked about this sprinkle a couple bucks on him to win because the payout's gonna be great get a get a little combo bet yeah dad adelise garcia um is going to represent texas i'll have the most cheering for him yeah. Yeah, that matters 17 home runs in the year he's 31 he was in it last year but didn't have a good showing what are your thoughts i again i think the crowd will give him some adrenaline and I think he'll do well in the first round or so, but I don't think he's more of a gap kind of guy. So, I mean, unless the Orioles are pitching to him, <laughs> you know, he may not hit a lot a lot of home runs. But I think the crowd will go nuts. I think he'll advance, you know, to the middle rounds. But 
I think that's where he stops. Okay. Uh, Dad, Jose Ramirez, uh, having a phenomenal year. Feels like he's always in the top five in MVP voting. 23 home runs on the year. Uh, he's 31. Maybe true prime. Maybe last year of his prime. Uh, what do you think of Jose Ramirez? I think that this is the guy. Really? Um, yes. Okay. And this is the guy. <laughs> Hinting. I saw when the Guardians played the Orioles, he hit the ball. The exit velocity was unbelievable in Camden Yards. He was hitting shots, line drives off the the left field wall, and he really hits the ball hard. Last year, I read that he had a a sprained wrist, so he could only hit right-handed. So I think this year he'll turn around and hit left-handed. I just think the way that he's hitting the ball and all that stuff, I know he's probably not the favorite to win, but I think he hits the ball as hard as anybody in this lineup. I think Gunner might be second, but I really think Jose will do well. And him and Pete in the finals, look wow. out. Okay, giving, giving away some stuff. <laughs> um, Jose Ramirez, by the way, has worse odds than Teoscar. Just saying, if you yeah. want to sprinkle some stuff later. I'm sprinkling. <laughs> uh, Dad, rounding out, Alec Bohm. I don't. I know you're the opinion guy here. I can't remember a guy with 11 home runs during the yeah. Derby. Maybe there is, but I can't remember it. Uh, he's 27 years old. He's a good player. What do you think of Alec Bohm's chances? Not good. Okay, that's honest. <laughs> that's what I'm asking for. Yeah. Um, you know, when again, when the, the Phillies came to the you know, Camden Yards and all that stuff, he hits the ball, but he's more of a gap guy. Mm-hmm. He, hit, he hits a lot down the left field line. I don't think he elevates the ball enough to get a lot of home runs. You're going to see him hit a lot of gaps and fall five feet short of the wall. Um, and I think that's his game, um, which, you know, it's great for the Phillies because they got other home run hitters. But I think he's going to try, but I don't think he gets the elevation the others do. Okay. I think that's – I'm right on that. Dad, um, don't look at my paper because I just did no. this. Um, advance your final four. Who makes it to the next – the second round? You ready? Yep. Alonzo. Uh-huh. Gunner. Uh-huh. Teoscar. Uh-huh. Jose. Interesting. Okay. How about you? I have the kids. I have Gunner and Bobby. I do have Polar Bear Pete, and I have Teoscar as well. I do like that dark horse. Yeah. Um, I like Jose Ramirez. I, like, I mean, the only people that I think don't truly have a chance where I would tell the people at home don't bet anything is Adelise and Alec. Um, I'm not, like, against A, a names. It's just Adelise didn't impress me last year when I thought his thick neck would be a home run of its own. Um <laughs> And Bohm is not hitting bombs. I wish his last name was Bob. Um, <laughs> you know, that's classic stuff right here, people. It's classic stuff. Who, you got to give it up. Your finale is Polar Bear and Jose. Yes. I think that's electric, by the way. I really do. Yeah. Um, my f- finale is Gunner and Polar Bear. Okay. Um, and, you know, that's another great matchup. You know, I hope Gunner has enough stamina to, you know, have enough you know, strength to go through, you know, three, what, three to four rounds and still start, you know, jacking it out. We'll see. You know, Pete's a home run hitter. Gunner is, is getting there. I mean, can you imagine how many kids in Baltimore would be called Gunner? <laughs> you know. He, they get conceived tonight? <laughs> yeah. You know, think about when season. Brooks was here, how many kids yeah. were named Brooks. A lot of kids named Camden now. Yeah, and Ripken. So, so yeah. Dad, I think you kind of hinted at it. Is your pick as Avery Ramirez? Yes. I'll circle that for you. My pick's Gunner. I, I believe in the youth movement. I believe in 28 home runs. Um, I think a fun Gunner Jose thing. There's been years past where my dad and my predictions have been the finale. It's been electric watching that those finales. Yeah. Back when that was Berman years. Yeah. Um, At but, Fenway was fantastic. That was, that was with fun. going on. Yeah. A, you know, Sammy Sosa. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as we go down memory lane, you want to place your bets <laughs> on DraftKings. Uh, phenomenal odds is going on. Dad, do you want to place any money on Jose? Uh, at least 20. At least 20. I don't yeah. have that much in my account, so I will add that off screen for Dad. Um, <laughs> I'll go 10. I'll go 10. Okay. I'll add 10 for you, Dad. Yes. It's a great payout. 10, I think, gets you 150. Okay. You're here to hear for $10 on Jose Ramirez, gets you 150. Dad, I'm happy to place that bet. And just because I said I was going to, I'm going to sprinkle what's little I have left, which is 431 on T. Oscar. So. Okay. Those are my thoughts. Polar Bear. I've never picked against you, I don't think. We can rewind the tapes from last year's, but uh, I don't know, man. If you had a slightly better year, I'd believe in you a little bit more. Yeah. But. but, you know, last year he just he – just, he didn't have it. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know if he was the BP pitcher or whatever. Seattle. Yeah. I mean, he just never got in a groove. Yeah. You remember? Mm-hmm. And he was clearly mm-hmm. frustrated. Yeah. 
So um, I've looked. I watched some Pete Alonso highlights today. If you want to turn us off at this point, that's fine. Um, <laughs> but I watched some Pete Alonso highlights. He re- he when he won in 2019, he only ever beat his competitors by one round or one one home run. I know that he went second and all that stuff, yeah. but. Um, there wasn't a lot of grooves. There was a couple grooves when he started, you know, bopping to that rap music yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. But his first round, if you go back when he first entered the Derby, wasn't smooth. He didn't hit a home run until like 45 seconds. Yeah. Uh, but he yeah. did find his groove eventually. So I know he'll, I think it's safe to sit, put him in the second round. Um, I even think it's safe to put him in the finale. Uh, but we shall see. We both have Pete in the finale, but we have him as a big loser to Gunner and Jose. Good luck with your predictions. Enjoy Home Run Derby. Two hours away. I'm going to get this posted right now. Um, if you want, follow us on uh, all things social media. We're at Pastime Podcast underscore on Twitter and Instagram and the Father and Son Pastime Podcast on Facebook. Good night, everybody. Enjoy this. Kudos to Major League Baseball for doing this and making it the feature event it is. I think for baseball is the best thing they do. So good for MLB. Bring back the Field of Dreams. See ya.